feet on top it's like coming out of the mountain or it's built in the mountain so this castle is on the side of the mountain built into it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. tell me about this castle it's, what's there i don't see anything there it's just beautiful mm -hmm. there's a lot of nature around mm -hmm. you could right. see you could see more mountains from it mm -hmm. it's like i'm standing on a balcony mm -hmm. so i can see down there's a water waterfall coming from the top of the mountain mm -hmm. beautiful and it's um it's almost like touching the castle and if you look down, there's a river down there and the waters are really clear mm -hmm. and it's just green, beautiful everywhere, beautiful nature it's like this castle like is part of it, it doesn't stand out of the structure too much but mm -hmm. it is a structure but it just it belongs there with the nature mm -hmm. and you say that you're standing on the balcony mm -hmm. can you describe what you look like in this place? what do you look like there? Um, look down in your feet can you see your feet from where you are? I think they're like human feet Mm-hmm. Tell me more. How are you dressed? It's a long dress. Mm-hmm. A long dress. Long what dress. else? What color is this dress, by the way? It's blue. Blue. Mm-hmm. It's blue, but it's like, um... There's layers of, like, a see-through material top. Mm-hmm. And below that, it's kind of blue. It's a little sparkly. The fabric is sparkly? Um, it's not, sorry, it's, it's shiny. It's mm -hmm. not sparkly, it's like shiny, sleek. Mm hmm. What else are you wearing there? Anything on your head? There, there is something on my head. Let's see what it is. It's like, um, it's a headpiece. It's really like a decoration. It's pretty big. It's not like a hat. It's, um,. It's like it goes up and it's sort of like a hat, but it's not. It just go, it goes up and it goes down my sides. Mm -hmm. It goes down to like a material like almost hang from it, so it goes down my shoulders. Hmm. What color is this thing in your head? The same color as the dress. Mm -hmm. What does your hair look like? It's long and blonde, mm -hmm. very long. What do you imagine you're doing there? Just enjoying the view and the beauty. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of beauty around. Just like to come out and breathe in the nature. The bird, there's there's birds around. Mm -hmm. It's like I feel like very part of it. You feel like you're part of this place. Yeah, I feel like everything is very connected, like very together. Mm -hmm. I feel like we all one with the trees, with the mountains, with the rocks, the river. Even the castle, it's it's all it's like it's it's all one. Mm hmm And this castle. Who lives in this castle? 
Um, I do. Mm-hmm. I don't see nobody else around. Let's go inside of the castle and see what's there. You say that it's built on the side of a mountain. How do you get inside? Um, well, I was on the balcony, so I just go inside. There's an entrance. Mm-hmm. Describe the place for me. It's really big inside. Mm -hmm. The ceilings are really, really high. There's columns. Mm -hmm. So um, I think I think everything's made out of marble, like a white, white, beautiful, shiny marble. Mm-hmm. And I'm in some sort of room, like a big, big hall. Is it decorated with anything? Is there some um sort of like a patchwork hanging on mm -hmm. the walls? Mm hmm Um there's columns. There have some designs on it. Mm hmm Are these in color? Or are they no, white? Every, the the patchworks are like material, so they're in color, but everything else is just marble. Mm-hmm. The floor and the ceiling and everything? Yes. Mm hmm Let's see where you go. What is this room? Describe everything you see as you walk through it. It's just really big. Mm-hmm. I guess it's like... It's... It's for meetings. Mm -hmm. I think it's where a lot of people would meet and discuss things. Mm -hmm. But I don't see nobody there. Is there any furniture? No. Mm -hmm. No, it's just a lot, a lot of columns. And this room is it's huge. It's like a football field. Mm -hmm. And is it inside of the mountain? Yes, it's mm -hmm. inside. Mm -hmm. So let's continue and see. Find the time in that same lifetime when something is actually happening in this place. I see other people. They also wear like either dresses like me or robes. Mm hmm. The men and the women? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Do they have any any ornaments on them? There's a head, everybody has a headpiece. Mm -hmm. Pretty much the same thing. It's like a headpiece with like materials hanging. Mm -hmm. Um, to, to, I don't see any jewelry or anything, but um, but the clothes, they have a lot of ornaments, mm -hmm. like designs, like they're really nice. Mm hmm Are they held by anything? Do they have anything that ties them? Are they straight down? How do they look? Um... Well, it's just like... It's like attached to the clothes. Mm -hmm. It's like part of the clothes. Okay. Are they different colors? Yeah, it's... They're different colors, but very... Mm. It's like a similar palette. Mm -hmm. It's like light blues and some more like light purple and there's light green, very like toned palette. Mm -hmm. Pretty colors. What are these people doing there? Connect with them telepathically and see who they are. Mind to mind. Who are they?
They say they're gardeners. They're gardeners? Mm-hmm. Tell me more about that. What do they garden? They the, the whole planet. Mm. The gardeners of the planet? Mm -hmm. Very good. They take care of the planet. Ask them how they do that. What do they say? They're trying to show me it's like it's 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 weird. It's it's I know how they do it, but it's it's hard to put in words. It's mm -hmm. um it has a lot of to do with with energy. Mm-hmm. Give me all the information that they're giving you. Is, um, is there part... So they're like... They're all one. They're all, all part of each other. Mm -hmm. So they... I mean, if they maintain themselves in loving energy and positive, that's how they keep the entire planet like that. Mm -hmm. And they're one with, uh, with, with trees, with plants, with flowers, with animals, with water. Even the, um, the stone and the marble, the castle is made, like they're all, they're all one. Mm -hmm. They're very in tune with basically everything. Mm -hmm. Where do they come from? Are they from the Earth? No, I don't think this is the Earth. Mm -hmm. Where is this place? Is there showing me somewhere in... Is there showing me a g galaxy? But I don't mm -hmm. know. It's like they're showing me the sky and the galaxies somewhere, but I don't know where it's mm -hmm. Have them spell out this place and see if they... <clears throat> they can give you a spelling of what it spells like. What is their name for it? Gamma comes to my mind. Gamma? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When I say the word gamma, it feels good? I think, yeah. Mm -hmm. So what do you do there? I'm part of them. We are in the meeting. Mm -hmm. Is We're standing around. It's not like a table, but it's a circle thing in the middle of the room. It's um, it's like um, like separate, like um, it's like a s area. It's circle, and mm -hmm. there's a little little tiny wall around it that's just separated from the rest of the room. And um, in that middle, they're screening stuff. They're projecting stuff. Mm-hmm. It's like a screen. Like a screen, yes. Mm -hmm. But it's the screen is it's a circ. It's um. It's circular. Yes, it's mm -hmm. it's circular. It's not flat or anything. It's you can see inside it. It's like multi-dimensional. It's not flat. Mm-hmm. So what is it that you're all looking at? Take a good look and see what's being projected on that screen. I see stars. 
And they're saying there's something wrong with the um, energy levels mm -hmm. in the universe. Mm -hmm. Is something's off and there's something out of balance. And we're looking at it, trying to see what it is mm -hmm. and what's causing it, because we it, it can it sort of affects us and mm -hmm. it can affect other and not just us but other galaxies and planets around as well. Mm -hmm. It's just something really off. Let's find out what it is. What do they say? I want to say it's Earth. Mm -hmm. What's going on with it? There's, there's too much darkness on Earth. It's, it's dragging, it's dragging those around town. Maybe it's not dragging down, but it's it's bringing others out of balance. Mm -hmm. By others, you mean all of the other planets? Yes. Mm -hmm. What's happening on Earth that it's so dark? I see. There's a lot of, a lot of dark energy around the earth. Mm -hmm. I just see the earth right now and like one side it's just this huge black energy hanging around it mm -hmm. and just one side and it's just just there just like almost like a like a hat covering it like mm -hmm. blocking mm -hmm. like blocking the light I guess. What does this dark energy consist of? Um, I don't know. It looks like a like a dark cloud. It's it's not solid. Mm -hmm. It's definitely not so like gassy. Mm -hmm. It's moving. It's it's not solid at all. Mm -hmm. Would your projection be able to tell what is causing this? saying people are causing it. People are causing it. People on Earth, they let it happen. Hmm. They let it happen. They forgot. They forgot their ways and so many came and they, they try they try to help and they try to show us they try to show us the way. And they never they never seem to get it. They never seemed to get it, and they were the ones who, who were dragging themselves down. Mm -hmm. And there were many who, who tried to save them. But every time they try, it's, it worked for a little bit, and then they forget again, and they forget. Mm -hmm. And then that's when the, um, the dark forces, they saw it and they, t they saw it as opportunity. And they slowly, slowly start coming and trying to take over. And because people let them, they start taking over more and more and more and more. So what are your, you as gardeners, what do you need to do? to balance all of this energy. Go in. But, um... We're trying to figure out how to do it that it's going to work this mm. time, because... If they... If, if we go in and we try to teach it it's always fails because then we go away and it's the same thing. And 
you can't go there and live their lives for people they have to they're the ones who have to do it mm -hmm. so what we need is like we need um we need like beacons like um mm -hmm. for the energy because we want to send the energy down but we need some like re somebody who can receive it actually mm -hmm. And those people are like different vibration. Even if we send the energy, then they're gonna receive it because it's it's really different vibration. Mm -hmm. And we th we try to build structures where we receive that energy, but even that failed because then people would start just either demolish it or start using it for something else. What kind of structures are you talking about? Temples, mm -hmm. statues, I mean, not statues, but temples. Um, um, like monoliths. Mm -hmm. Like I see, like, just simple structures just standing up, like a pointy, pointy structures. And these are for receiving the energy that you're beaming in? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're, they're supposed to... They were supposed to be receiving the energy mm -hmm. and spread it around. But what but once we leave, people forget everything we teach and they just, they do whatever they do. Mm -hmm. they, they get greedy, they want the power, they want to try to use it for, for themselves, they try to use it to Jeff power over others. There's some who think they can control it and they want to be better than the others. And it's just a lot of greed, a lot of anger, a lot of jealousy. And that, that already is like lowering the vibrations. Mm -hmm. And it can, in that, those, those structures that we build, it can be out of tune and they just don't work the way they're supposed to. I mean, they do, but not on the same scale. It's just, mm -hmm. they're like really like out of tune. Now you said that you had been on the earth before. How did you come to the earth? I don't know if it was me particularly, but I know they did. Mm -hmm. Maybe as a collective, we did. Mm -hmm. So what happens next? Tell me what happens after this meeting. What's decided? We have to go. Mm -hmm. We have to go. Again. But different. There's a lot of, there's a lot of coming in. It's not just us, it's from, it's from different planets. Mm-hmm. What's the reason and the purpose for coming into Earth? To bring the energy back, to bring it back in balance, so... So we can... We can chase the darkness away. Mm hmm So tell me what the plan is. <clears throat> How are you going to go to Earth if you have a body like you do there? Do you have a physical body where you are? I see a body, but it's like a light, it's like a lighter body. Mm-hmm. A lighter body? It's like, I see, I see we have it, but mm -hmm. it's not like heavy, like... Well, I think they want to send, they want to send, they want to send our souls out mm -hmm. to earth a part of it a part of your soul mm, a part of it what happens to the other part it stays by like a part of you is going to be born on earth mm -hmm. it's like i feel like we're like we're we're unlimited 
Mm-hmm. It's like the soul is... The soul is just unlimited and... You can live a few lives at the same time. Mm-hmm. So just standing apart is really... It's just part of us. And then the other part is still there. How does this part of the soul that's being sent to Earth know what it's supposed to do? Will it remember its job? No, that's that's like a rule. You can't really remember unless there's special circumstances that you can remember. But tell me about those circumstances. What's different about Earth than yours? Oh, you know, it's. It's when you come to Earth, you're not supposed to remember because then you can't really do the job. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't it be better to remember that way the job gets done faster? If you remember, you wouldn't want to be there. Mm-hmm. What's wrong with Earth? That you don't want to be there. It's not a nice place to be. It's too much violence and killing and lies and it's everything is fake. Mm. So much illusion, deception and we're we're not from that. We're not familiar with that. This we don't want to be around that. It's, mm-hmm. just, it's hard for us to understand to be on earth and if you remember you you'll go crazy you would not you could not be on earth mm-hmm. you would not handle all the negativity you just couldn't you would just shoot back the second you arrive mm-hmm. so what is the plan <clears throat> to go back to earth what kind of family would you choose in order for you to do this mission Do you just pick a random family? I don't think so. It's no, it's not random. Mm-hmm. Let's see how you choose your family. I'd like for you to leave that scene and let's go to the moment where you're planning how you're going to do your mission on planet Earth. Tell me what happens. I'm somewhere else right now. It's not physical. It's um. It's, I just see a lot of light. Mm-hmm. And like everything's made out of energy. I think I'm energy. I don't have the body anymore. Mm-hmm. Where are you? Oh, I'm not sure. It's like. It's like not physical, so it's hard to say where I am. It's just like energy, and there's other energies there, and mm-hmm. we're communicating. Let's find out what you're communicating as you prepare for your trip. I'm trying to, trying to make it work. I can go there so I can trying to set it up so I go there and I can stay there I don't understand what that means like something grounding Mm -hmm. for me that I actually stay let's find out what that is I think that's my father. <laughs> mm-hmm. Let's find out how you pick your father. What do you see? What do you experience? How do you pick him? What are you receiving? Not 
sure I don't see, I don't feel anything. I'm still there. Mm hmm. I don't know, it's just when I think of my father, like I have this um, fear inside me. Mm hmm. What is the purpose of picking someone that you fear? Have you known this person before? I say it's to grow. To grow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who is telling you this? Um, I. I'm not sure. I feel presence around me. Nice. There's energies around me. Mm -hmm. And this is just what I get. Mm -hmm. Are they? Are they counseling you? Well, it looks like it. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what what preparations they're they're giving you to live this life. They're changing my vibrations to make me fit. Mm. How does that feel? It's a little weird. I'm starting to feel smaller. Mm -hmm. It's like it feels like a little tiny part of me detached. Mm -hmm. And that part is going to go. It's still me, but... Tell me more. How does it feel to be that little piece? It's weird because it's not little, but it's just how unlimited we were before. Mm -hmm. And comparing to that, it's little. It's, um, um, it's not, I'm having a hard time adjusting to it. Because mm -hmm. I feel a little separated right now. I think I'm going to get a body. They're gonna put me in the body. Not excited about it. it. Has to be done. Tell me what emotions you're feeling as this is happening. A little nervous. It's like it's like I don't want to go, but. I know it has to be done. It's like they're trying to comfort me and trying to tell me not to worry. They're like always going to be there. They're sending me this beautiful light of energy. It's just comforting. It's they're not saying it. It's just the energy. They're sending the energy. That's that's how they're comforting me. Mm -hmm. Telling me not to worry, it's going to be okay. I think I'm connected somehow to my mom. Let's find out. Let's find out how you're connected to her. I think I'm... I don't know, it's like I'm one with her somehow. Mm -hmm. That's the only that's the only reason I feel a little better about going down there because she's there. Mm -hmm. That's a little more comfort comforting. I can feel her love and energy already. I'm I'm still here, I'm still there. Mm -hmm. I I can feel it. I can feel her energy and it's beautiful. It's loving, it's very warm, it reminds me of home, mm -hmm. it's just so pure and good. 
Is she from your home? I don't, I'm not sure. I know you're connected somehow. Mm -hmm. We're all part of the same. We are for sure, just I'm not sure if I understand how. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's advance and see what happens now as you get closer to the moment of being on Earth. What's the next step? I see a baby. Mm-hmm. It's crying. Who is this baby? I think it's me. Mm-hmm. Are you inside of the body or outside? No, I'm serving on the outside. Mm-hmm. Has the baby been born? Yeah, it's like bigger already. It's like a few months. Mm-hmm. It's like in a weird crib. It's like square and it's made out of gold. It's, mm -hmm. it's weird. It's just sitting there and it's crying. Look around you. What does this place look like? It, it looks like an ancient castle, like an... Mm-hmm. An ancient castle? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like a very big, spacious... Mm-hmm. You can see gold and mar marble and decoration on the wall. It's crystals and... Beautiful, like painting and sculptures, and every single wall. Mm hmm. It seems like a similar place where you just left. No, it's no, oh, it's different. That one was more. It's more. White. Yeah, it's more like plain mm -hmm. and white. And this one's the colors everywhere, and like gold and. Like some kind of diamonds, and there's like furniture and like fabrics hanging from the walls, like a lot of them, and some plants inside. And I think I see there's a bed in that room. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's a bed, it's and the crib is like to the side. Mm hmm I see some woman, she picks up the baby. I think she's like a nanny or something. Mm-hmm. And what happens now? Where are you taken? She's just walking around and holding me and because I'm crying, so she's trying to comfort me. Mm -hmm. I want you to go inside of that baby's mind. Let's find out where you're crying. What are you thinking about? The baby's lost. Mm -hmm. Lost, confused, doesn't know where it is. Mm -hmm. Everything's so unfamiliar. Feels lonely. What does the baby remember? The light. Mm -hmm. So let's see what happens next. 
close the scene and let's go further into that lifetime. Another significant event. Where are you? Look around. It seems like the same place. Mm -hmm. I see a lot of people in there. And there is a king, king and a queen. Mm -hmm. They're like sitting on the throne and there's a lot of people around. There's something happening. What's happening? They're trying to discuss something like a new laws. Mm -hmm. There's somebody's like, advisor standing in front of the king and queen and he's speaking to the public. What's he saying? He wants to change the laws. He's, he's like, he has bad intentions. He's not, he's not speaking from his heart. He's, he's trying to manipulate. He's trying to do something for his own benefit. The advisor? Uh huh. Mm hmm. He's sort of speaking on the public's behalf. And then also at the king's behalf, and he's like trying. He's he's doing. He's not. It's not good. Mm -hmm. He's trying to do something bad. I want you to look at yourself, and then tell me if you're male or female there. I'm kind of observing it from the side. Mm -hmm. I think like I'm not hanging. Okay. In the air and observing everything. Mm hmm. You don't have a body there. No, I don't think so. Okay. Let's see what it is that you're finding out there. What happens? The king and the queen are actually really big. Mm -hmm. They're much taller than the rest of the people. Mm -hmm. What do they look like? They look human, but actually they're enormous. Mm -hmm. How long, how big do you think they are? How tall? Um, Compared to a regular human? Twice? No, at least three times. Three times bigger. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now that I look at them, they look really... The, the, they're making the whole building look so tiny. Mm-hmm. So they would look like giants next yeah. to them? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Do they have any features that are different than the humans? No, they look human. Mm-hmm. Just bigger? Just, yeah, just like super, super tall. Mm-hmm. That's why now I understand because the baby also appeared like a giant to me. I didn't understand why. Mm -hmm. And now I see there. I think they're the parents of that baby. Mm -hmm. Now I understand why. Tell me more. What happens next? Yeah, there's something. There were there were laws that they established, mm -hmm. and they are teaching the people. But there is something. The people they 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 don't like something. They complaining. They don't understand. But it's not them. It's something. It's making them like that. Mm. Something like, sort of like, 
pushing them like, like sort of like not taking control of them completely but like sort of like giving them those ideas mm-hmm. like they give them those ideas and they making them like trying to revolt against those laws but those laws are good mm-hmm. let's find out what it is that's causing them to change their mind let's let's find out i see there's dark spirits around them mm-hmm. and the people they don't see it i see it mm-hmm they're different they're like little ones they're like little tiny ones are just behind the ear and there's bigger ones some people they have it like it was like some of them they look like a few snakes wrapped around like a person's neck mm-hmm. and whispering and there's some there's one looking like, like octopus mm-hmm. it's like attached to a person like a shoulder and there's bigger ones just like hanging around them and they're like little tiny ones just, they're everywhere what dimension are these in are they in a different dimension i'm not sure because nobody can take they, they can't see them they can't see them no they can't see them but they're the ones giving those those ideas they're the ones telling them like no this is not good no mm-hmm. you're you're better than this no mhm so even though the rulers are ruling with good intention yeah no they're good they're good they create really good laws and they really try they just try to make they want it well for the people they want it to teach them they want it for the people to live better mhm to live better and live happy and in love mhm and be more like one are these giants special i think they come from the stars okay they came from the stars to help so tell me what happens now what happens They leave the, the king the queen Mhm They think I think they're going to leave How do they leave I see them really, really like just dissolving Mhm like vanishing in the air I mean nobody can see it but I think they just Yeah, I think they feel like they they failed. Mhm. So what happens now after they leave? Now I'm back in the universe and back. Mhm. I'm not on earth anymore. What was your mission there? Were you just an observer? I'm not sure. I I was obs- I I might have Were you the baby? I didn't see the baby. I think the baby was the, the one of the either the king or the queen, but the mm-hmm. like adult. Mhm. You were just an observer there. Try to see. If I think I was just observing. Maybe Maybe I was I'm not sure if I was part of them but Mhm. As they disappeared I also left. Very good. So let's close that scene and now let's go drifting and floating to another lifetime. Another lifetime that will give us answers to why Magdalena is here today. What is the purpose? Where are you? Mm. It's a city. Mhm. I'm on a 
the street. What does the city look like? Square buildings. Square buildings. Mm. What are these buildings made out of? Like rocks, kind of rocks? stones. Mm -hmm. Stones, maybe. Tell me more. Walking on the street. Mm -hmm. What's the street made out of? Stone as well. Stone. Very stony. Mm -hmm. And look down and see if you can find your feet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you look like? They're male feet. Male feet. Mm -hmm. Are you wearing anything on your feet? Sandals. Sandals. What else are you wearing? Very simple short robe. A, a short robe? And a belt. Mm -hmm. Look at your features. What do you look like? Dark hair. Black straight. A little longer down the shoulder. Mm -hmm. Make Big, muscular. I look very strong. Mm hmm. Are you carrying anything? No. Look at your hands. What color are your hands? They're like white, I guess. Mm hmm. Maybe like a good, like no, just like white. Mm hmm. Tell me where it is that you're going. I'm not sure, but I seem to be angry. Okay, let's find out why. What comes to mind? Hmm. So it's, it's people again. Mm-hmm. What are the people doing? They're trying to ruin everything. Everything we established. I think I just found out. That's why I'm rushing to like the... Um, like this, like the main part of the city, like mm -hmm. where everything's mm -hmm. happening. I'm really angry. What is your role in this place? What do you do there? I think I was one of the advisors mm. who helped to establish like peace in this place. Mm -hmm. So what's happening? People are greedy. They're greedy. They don't like to re charge. They don't like it. They feel like they should be ones in charge. They feel like they deserve the power mm -hmm. and they're better. And we're just like, it's not about the power. It's really not. We're trying to explain that we don't want to rule. Mm -hmm. We're just the ones like to bring them knowledge and to help them. Mm -hmm. Where do you come from? Where does your knowledge come from? The source. The source? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are you connected to the source? There's a few of us and we all are. Mm -hmm. Do you channel the source information? 
The source is in us. The source is in you. It's always there. Mm -hmm. I try to explain that they're also the ones who have the power. Mm -hmm. That it's not about being in charge and being in power because that is just an illusion. We each one can be in power like of ourselves, of our lives, but not as power, power of somebody. It's just mm -hmm. like the... Mm -hmm. so they don't get it. What is this place where you live? What do they call it? Does it have a name? Cut is something. Mm -hmm. It's like a city. Mm -hmm. It looks Asian as well. Mm -hmm. It looks more like Roman, Asian, Greek kind of. Mm -hmm. And we like up in an open air, but like in the city square, like city center. Mm -hmm. And they're gonna revolt. They're mm -hmm. gonna revolt for sure. Um, they're trying to fight. We can feel it. It's 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 no. It's, it was okay for a little bit, but. Mm -hmm. Are there any rulers where you live? It was a few of us, mm -hmm. but they want to take over. Mm -hmm. The people they want to take over, they want they 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 have a ruler. There's somebody, mm -hmm. somebody who is able to manipulate them and like a come, king. Like they they're trying to put their king, mm -hmm. and we're just trying to explain it's not about kings or who's in power. It's like we're trying to explain that we have to be together, mm -hmm. and then we all in charge of ourselves we do you don't need a ruler it's just if if everybody lives a certain way and follows certain laws then you just don't need a ruler because you know you're in charge of yourself but if you stay with the main laws then you're fine who's gonna treat you need nobody to tell you what to do mm -hmm. they don't care they just want to bring their king because he promised them God knows what and mm -hmm. he promised them he, some, he's, they're going to be rich and he promised them he's going to take care of them better than we do and he tells them that our laws are stupid and mm -hmm. and those people, yeah, they, they don't understand us but they can relate to mm -hmm. When you mention us, who are the others? Because you're one of several. Who are the others that you speak about? Um, not we came. Not sure. We came like a group. Mm hmm. Where did we you come from? Came from the stars. We came like a group. Tell me how you arrived. How did you get here? Teleportation. Teleportation? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. We can leave anytime we want, mm -hmm. the same way. We can go, we can go back and forth anytime. Where is it that you are originally from? Is it a planet? Yeah, it's a planet. Do you know the it's name a of it? planet. Aura? Aura? I think Aura. Mm -hmm. Something like sounds like Aura. It was the first thing that came to my mind. Aura. Mm -hmm. And do you have the same type of human body? Yeah, but it's not our bodies. Mm -hmm. uh, that's not how we look like. 
So do you just create a body when mm. you arrive on Earth? Yeah, it's it's we take on we take on like that like a human shape. Mm. So we take on human shape. It's not even a real body. Mm -hmm. Do you need to eat and and uh, perform all of the functions of a normal body? No, but we pretend we do. Ah, so if someone's at a banquet eating, you would eat also? We pretend. It's like, um, it's, it's like, they, they, we can, we, we don't really eat it, but mm -hmm. we make ourselves look like we do. It's some kind of like, we, we just project ourselves that mm -hmm. we eat and mm -hmm. drink. And, mm -hmm. But we don't really do that, no. Hmm. How many are you that are on the earth at this time that you're Six sitting? of us. Six of you. Mm -hmm. It's like a team? Yeah, it's a mm -hmm. team. And what year is it for you? What earth years? One thousand. One thousand? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And what is the actual mission supposed to be? To teach them, to teach people, to show them a better way. To mm -hmm. show them to... to live in light. Mm -hmm. How do you live on your planet? Oh, it's very different. There's, um, it's our bodies are super light. Mm -hmm. We can change shapes. We can become energy if you want to. We can become anything, we, whatever we think of. I can look like it. Mm -hmm. um, there's, it's like there's crystal structures on the planet we can travel with a thought mm -hmm. or we all we also have spaceships what do they look like they're like, kind of like an almond shape but they're like white and shiny mm -hmm. sort of like a weird almondy very aerodynamic shape mm -hmm. They're different ones. Oh, they look like um, they look like an almond from the side, but they're like if you look at the front, they're kind of flat. Mm. It's like how many people can fit in this? And um, we have different sizes. There's smaller ones. There's ones like huge, like almost half of the planet. Mm -hmm. It just orbits around. Mm -hmm. There's smaller ones. But we don't really need them. Like, we just use them. Like, if we go far, and mm -hmm. as, as a station, mm -hmm. so we don't have to like project ourselves back home, back and forth. Because I can travel with my mind. Mm -hmm. What do you call yourself? Do you have a name? Ar Arian. Arian. Aryan. Mm -hmm. Is that the name you use on Earth, also? I'm not. No, no. no. They don't. I'm not using my real name. Mm -hmm. We gave each other just names mm -hmm. to f to fit in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So tell me what happens with this mission on Earth, where they're revolting. Mm -hmm. It's the same story. They took over. They just took over. We had to run and hide. I mean, they can't kill us, but we don't want them. We we don't want them to know who we are. Mm -hmm. So we have to run away because if they try to kill us, nothing's going to happen. Mm -hmm. It's just that it's, it's going to go through us, and that's it. And we really can't. They can't. No, they cannot find out. They cannot find out. They have to think we're one of them. Mm -hmm. They have to think we're human. So, yeah, we just we just go back. All right. So, allow yourself to go back to where you belong. See yourself going there, and let's see what what happens after you return. We 
We have a meeting. Mm -hmm. We we tell them what happened. Um, everybody's worried. Everybody's concerned because um, because we know where this can go. Mm -hmm. We know if this keeps happening, we're gonna lose the planet, the dark, the dark side's gonna take over completely. And then everything's gonna be out of balance. So we have to create, um, we have to create a bigger plan. And a lot of us, they have to come together to create a better plan and a bigger plan, like a larger scale. We can't just do it like separately, just like by planets, by, by communities or collectives. It has to be, we all have to come together. Mm -hmm. So let's find out when it is that you decide as a collective to help the Earth. Just sending out a message to other universes and other places, other planets. We're basically calling for help. And they're responding. Mm -hmm. Why is your planet so concerned with Earth? I think because we were the first one there. Mm -hmm. We're basically there when the planet was born. Mm -hmm. So we kind of feel responsible. Mm -hmm. Do you call yourself anything as far as a role for the planet Earth? Before you had told me that you were kind of like gardeners of your own planet. Mm. What are you to planet Earth? The word keepers comes to my mind, I'm not sure what that means. You are a keeper? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Keepers of the planet Earth? I'm not sure, it's like... It's like we have our own planet and we have our... We are on our own, but... It's just that we kind of feel responsible for something. That's why we connected to Earth, we feel like we have to fix it. Mm -hmm. We feel sort of responsible for what's happening there. Mm -hmm. And we just don't want it to get worse, because if it gets worse, then it's going to be really bad. Now you keep talking about this darkness, mm -hmm. this dark side. Where does it come from? Who are these dark energies? Where are they from? It's like a different... A different dimension, I would say, mm -hmm. is um, they they found a portal. They found a portal, and they started leaking in. They were not supposed to be here. Mm -hmm. We were trying hard not to let them any near, but they found a way. It was this little this little space, and there was a portal, and they start coming in. And mm -hmm. Where is this portal located? I see it not far from Earth. I don't know. Can't mm -hmm. pinpoint it where. Somewhere in the galaxy, it's not far from Earth. Near the Earth? Is it anywhere near the Sun? Or? No, no. Mm -hmm. It's like the other direction, actually. The what? It's like really... Like if, it's like feathered down from the the sun and other planets. Mm -hmm. It's like, or the planets, like, when they go around the sun, mm -hmm. where the path is, mm -hmm. it's like on the other side, it's and not any near. Okay. It's like on the outside. On the outside and of the, of the uh, orbit? Of the, uh, the solar system on the mm -hmm. outside, but it's still kind of close. Yes. So. And this is where the portal is? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What does this dark side want to do? They look at a human as a perfect food source. Mm -hmm. They love to feed off humans. They're so happy. They've never 
encountered any other being like human before. Mm-hmm. And humans are just excellent source of food. In what way? What kind energy, of food? Energy. Energy. Bad energy. Bad energy. They're very easily influenced. Mm-hmm. And very easy manipulated. So once... Like, you just see that anger. You see the anger and they grow it. Mm. And you just see anger and hate and jealousy and all these negatives. You let a little tiny seed and the human's going to grow it on its own because he's going to let it grow. Because mm-hmm. he's going to grow in that anger. He's going to get angrier and angrier and angrier. And then they feed off of it. So they... That's why they're there, because they're trying, also trying to make you angry. Ah, okay. They're trying to make you angry so they can feed. Mm-hmm. And when they feed off of a human, what does the human feel? More anger. More anger. Because they're weaker. Mm. They're weaker. And then they get angry and they get irritated so easily. Mm-hmm. It's like a, it's like a circle. It's like a wheel. It's it it just it turns itself. It's it's like they, all they had to do is just plant that seed. And if uh, if a human is weak, mm-hmm. he's gonna let it grow. If he's strong, he's not gonna let it grow, and the seed's gonna die. So how do you how do you guard yourself from this darkness? Well, we are. They're more advanced. They're, they can't do this to us. Mm-hmm. They really can because we are we are of the light and we are conscious and we consciously choose the light. I see. So they they can't do nothing to us. But what about the humans? How the do they humans, protect themselves? The humans are very vulnerable. That's why we try to go and teach them. Mm-hmm. If if a human is loving and he's good, has a good heart, and he stays positive, and he doesn't harm nobody, then they cannot get to him. Mm-hmm. They try. Mm-hmm. They try. They will try to plant little seeds, but if you don't react, mm-hmm. they can do anything. But that's why it's like if your energy is low, they'll try to get to you. Mm-hmm. And once they get to you, they try to keep your energy lower because that's when they have control. Mm. And once they're like really in, it's like it's easy for them to just stay there. Mm-hmm. Even if even if you grow stronger, and you 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 can like kind of get rid of them, but a little part stays. Mm-hmm. So they're just any any time you, your energy drops a little bit, they'll be there. Is that including when people take medication? I'm looking at Earth before those times. Okay, very good. But yeah, but those, those today, they do the same thing. Very good. Very they good. do the same thing today, yeah. Mm-hmm. Very good. So let's leave that scene. Let's leave that being there to continue on his journey. I know you could have shown her many different lifetimes today. What were you trying to tell her today with all of these lifetimes, beginning with the gardeners of the planet? As she's tried, she... She tried, she really tried, she really wanted to help. Mm -hmm. She wanted to help others, and um, it's not her fault that it failed. Mm -hmm. It's really not, like she really tried. She feels like she's not doing anything, but she, she's been for a long time. She's been trying to help. How many lifetimes has she tried to do this on Earth? She's been doing this in other planets as well. It's not mm. just Earth. There are okay. many, many lifetimes, different planets. Mm-hmm. Earth, she was, she's been there since ancient times. Since ancient times. Doing mm-hmm. the same thing? Yeah, not always in the body. Mm-hmm. So yeah, but trying. 
trying. Mm-hmm. Is her home planet the one that we saw, where she was on that the gardener of the planet? It's or? not. It is, but it's not. Mm-hmm. It's um. Is where she's from. They can create whatever they want, okay. and she loves nature and she loves mountains mm-hmm. and waterfalls. So they basically just can create anything they want around mm. them and there's many places in this planet and different ones and they can change it instantly and create new stuff mm-hmm. so um, the planet is very it's not it's, it's a constant movement it's not solid it's energy and you can make anything you want mm. anything you want with just your thought i see so that's why it was on the side of the mountain and There was a huge room inside of it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. So why is she here this time? What's the purpose in this lifetime? The same thing. Same thing. Mm -hmm. Try try to help. Try to help. But why did she choose such a difficult childhood? Um, Her father is one of those... He's one of those people, one of those kings mm-hmm. who was leading those people to revolt. Ah. And there was a lot of anger in there. Mm-hmm. She chose it. She wanted to. She wanted to clear that. Has she? She did. Mm-hmm. Has she totally forgiven him? Well, there's, there's little, there's little little something left because it's not their first life together mm-hmm. there's there's something left inside so what does she have to do to clear that karma i mean she cleared the karma it's just the feeling mm-hmm. the fear and the anger is still a little bit still inside mm-hmm. can you help her with that today yes okay do i need to assist her can you do that. We can do that. Thank you very much. She says that she's had, um, she's been stuck not finding the right person. Um, she's not into food. She's not into drinking. She doesn't like to be around people. And she has a hard time interacting with people in general. Why is that? Because she, she doesn't really belong here. Mm-hmm. Her energy vibrations are much different. And mm-hmm. she's never going to belong and she just has to accept that. Okay. Why is it she's stuck working in restaurants all the time? Is that a good job for her? She's supposed to do it. Why is that? It's part of her karma. Hmm. In what way? She was getting angry at people mm-hmm. when they didn't want to listen. Mm-hmm. She was very angry at them. She has to accept people the way they are, mm. forgive them, okay, and understand they're just the way they are, and can't force nobody. So, working in a restaurant, is she having to take it now? Yeah, she's also helping them. Okay. Mm-hmm. She's also helping them. She brings the light. Okay. Good. Is this part of that light that's being? Shown from the other planet? Yeah. Okay, good. She says she wants to become a QHHD practitioner. Is that right for her? Yeah, 
Yeah, she knows this. <laughs> Are you going to be able to send her people? Yeah, she just needs to send her attention. People's gonna come. Okay, good. Good. Because she says that she, she wants to feel safe. She's scared of people because of all these times before. Mm -hmm. She'll be safe. Good, good. She also says that she was born with a talent of drawing and painting and art, but it seems like she can't use it for anything. And I've seen some of this work and it's beautiful. It will be used later. Okay. What should she be doing with her art in the meantime? Let's keep practicing whatever comes to her. Mm -hmm. Don't force it. Don't let force it, it. Let it come. It'll come. Mm -hmm. Good. You wouldn't recommend sticking her art up in the restaurant or anything? <laughs> They're not ready yet. They wouldn't understand it anyway. Okay, good. Good. Let's see what else we have here. She needs to use this bathroom. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to touch her shoulder. And when I do, that'll be the indication for her to open her eyes. She'll remain in this beautiful, deep trance. And when she comes back, she'll go even deeper, even deeper than she is right now. Eyes open. You are doing magnificent job. We're talking with the higher self. And we were asking questions. She wanted to know about the drawing and the painting and feeling that she was stuck and she said she had no ideas you know no ideas that came to her she also says that when she does like her dancing she gets completely paralyzed and she forgets everything what's causing all of that blockage it's energy blockage energy blockage where mm -hmm. is that coming from Take a look at her body and see what's blocking that energy. I'll do a complete scan of her body. Chakras are blocked, so mm -hmm. energy can flow the way it's supposed to. Okay, can you align those chakras, please, and unblock them? Yes. Okay. And just so that she knows, tell her what you're using to unblock them. She, I, she needs assistance with that. All right. So what, what kind of assistance would you like me to do for her? There's some emotions in there. Mm-hmm. We need to... She needs to clear them. All right. Tell me where these emotions are located. It's between her heart and her throat. All right. So let me move this up. We're going to move this energy up. And now you can express yourself. Good evening. Who am I speaking to there, this blockage? How long have you been there? A while. A while. Mm -hmm. Are you male or female energy? Male. Male. Mm -hmm. What can I call you today? Sadness. Sadness. Very good. Sadness, how is it that you came about this woman? How old was she when you came there? She was five. She was five. Mm -hmm. What was happening at that time, Sadness? 
that you found her? She was crying. Mm -hmm. Why was she crying? She was scared. Mm -hmm. Of what? What was she scared of? If she was she was picking up on the energy around her. Mm hmm She could feel the energy around her. Mm hmm She was she that's what made me was making her scared. Mm hmm And, and what sad. energy was around her? Sadness. Mm hmm Did she ask for you? No. Did she invite you? No. So why did you why did you find her to attach to her? Because she felt nice. She felt nice. Mm -hmm. Sadness. Did you ever have a human body? Yes. Oh. Mm -hmm. How old are you? Twelve. Twelve. Mm -hmm. And sadness. Did you have a name when you had a body? What did they call you? Yannick. Yannick? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yannick, how is it that you lost your body? It was an accident in the woods. What happened in the woods that you lost your body? What happened? I slipped and I fell and I broke my neck. Mm hmm. And what happened to you? I was sad. Mm hmm. I don't want to go. I want to go back to my mommy and daddy, but they didn't see me. They didn't see you. No. So, how did you find Magdalena? I saw her. My mom took her for a walk. Mm hmm. I followed them home. Mm -hmm. I followed them. I saw her cry. I want her to cry. You want her to cry? No. Mm -hmm. So what did you do? I try. I just try to make her stop. Mm -hmm. Were you trying to comfort her? Yeah. But Yannick. That wasn't your body, was it? No. Mm -hmm. Why didn't you go to the light? Did you see it? I no. I wanted to call my mommy and daddy. And they didn't see you. No, they left. I couldn't find them. Would you like to see your mommy and daddy now? Yes. All right, Yannick. Tell me how you're attached to this woman. What do you use to attach to her? I don't know, I'm just there. All right. So, Yannick, are you ready to go to the light? Yes. Okay, I'm going to ask the angels to surround you so you don't have to go by yourself. Tell me when they're there. I see them. Mm hmm. How do they feel around you? Nice and warm. Mm hmm. I'm going to ask Archangel Michael, my helper, to take you by the hand and take you right up to the white light. This is home. Tell me when you get there, Yannick. I'm there. Who's there with you? Mommy and Daddy. Very good. Give him a big hug. May the light of the universe always accompany you, Yannick. Thank you very much. Thank you. Very good. Let me speak with the higher self again. Thank you very much. Thank you. How do you see her chest now? It's good. Good. 
Is there anywhere else in the body where we have any hitchhikers? Do a scan on it, of it, please, and let me know. Take particular attention to the legs. There's something around her, her genitals, yeah. that, that will move on towards her. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what it is. Sure, it's just something dark. Mm -hmm. It's hurting the organs. It's hurting the organs? Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's find out. I want you to scan that area and tell me where it is. Bring it up. And let me speak with it. And give me a moment, I'll be right back. All right, I'm going to bring that energy up now. Bring it up. Up, 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 up. Good evening. Who am I speaking with? Are you male or female energy? Neither. Neither. Who created you? She did. Mm -hmm. When did she create you? A long time ago. Mm -hmm. What was the purpose of creating you? I don't know. She was just angry. She was just angry. So what mm -hmm. is it that you do to her? Just really angry. She just put it there. Mm hmm. Well, she put it there. But if she put it there, you do something. What is your role? What do you make her feel? Do you make her feel like going to the bathroom? Yes. Do you give her irritation? Yeah, because she will not let go of those. Anger. She won't let go of that anger. She wants to, so I'm trying. Mm-hmm. Is that how you release it? I'm trying. Mm-hmm. When you try to release that anger, do you make her go to the bathroom? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to now find out why she put it there. Let me speak now with Magdalena. Magdalena, you've created a thought form. 
that you've housed in that area in your genitals. And the only way for that thought form to go away is for you to transform it. You created it with anger. Are you ready to transform it now? Yes. All right. What would you like to give that thought form? What kind of responsibility would you like to give it? Perhaps you can give it the responsibility for making you dance in front of people. Perhaps you wanted to give you more self-confidence. What would you like that thought form now to do for you instead of making you need to go to the bathroom and give you irritation? Make me more self-confident. All right, so let's talk to it and see if it could do that. You there in the genitals, what do you think about that? What do you think about that new role? I like it. You like it? Mm -hmm. Can you work with Magdalena? Yes. Can you work at it to where you're not in her genitals anymore, giving her that irritation? Yes. Where would you like to be to give her that confidence? Would you like to be in her hands, maybe, to give her more confidence in her art? Or perhaps in her feet, to where she could dance? I could go in her feet. Let's go in her feet. So now you know that when she dances, you can give her confidence to remember the dance steps and yes. make her feel light as a feather. I like that. I like that. Very good. So I'd like for you to pull all of your energy out of her genital areas that were causing her so much irritation. Clear it up. Make it bright white. And go ahead and put yourself into her feet where you can give her confidence. And tell me when you're there. I'm there. Very good. Thank you very much for your assistance today. Let me speak with the higher self. How did that work? It's good. It's good. Mm -hmm. So now we understand what she was going through with all of the the problems that she had. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So all of that, uh, all of that craziness, frequency, and she was trying to let go of the anger. She was trying to let go. So now, is that okay? Yes. Very good. What's causing all of the acne? Is that something else? She doesn't like to be in her skin. She doesn't like to be in her skin. Mm -hmm. Is that because she's not in this place? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What would you like to tell her? Get over it. <laughs> Does she accept that? No. <laughs> How can we help clear up that acne? Be more loving to yourself in this body. It's yeah. serving a purpose. Mm -hmm. It's here for a reason. It has a job. Just love it the okay. way it is. Just love it. Mm -hmm. What about the blockage that she has in her throat? Is that something else? Or is that the chakra? That's not from this life. Okay, but what the life is it from? It's from one of those lives when she was trying to speak to people, convince them mm. through their ways and teach them good, but she felt like it's not, they're not listening and mm. it's not going nowhere. So after a while, she just gave up and now the words, everything she was trying to say was stuck in her. So she just got stuck in there because she wasn't, she stopped expressing it, what she wanted to say. Do we need to have that anymore? Well, she's still doing that. Mm -hmm. she's, she doesn't always express herself. So what would you like to tell her about that? To clear that 
the throat chakra. Is it okay to speak up? Okay. Can you assist her with that? Send her a guide that will help her whenever she needs to speak? Yes. Thank you. She was talking about her heart chakra, mm -hmm. something very heavy. Was that what we just removed? No. Uh, okay, what is it? She says there's felt like it's almost piercing going through her. There's something is trying. Mm hmm What is that? Some darkness. Mm hmm Is that something we could take care of today? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to call my warrior angels to come and assist me with this and all of my Archangel team. And before we even start, I'd like them to go ahead and encapsulate this energy. I don't see it. It's hiding. Okay. They could find it. Go ahead and encapsulate him wherever he's hiding. That's fair. Mm -hmm. We got lots of angels here. Go ahead and put a big net over this dark energy. Really big net of white light. Got all the warrior angels. Squeeze down on them. Squeeze down on this energy. Let's find out what it is. I'm not going to talk to it directly. I just want you to tell me what's happening. View it as an observer and tell me what's happening. They're going to take care of this energy for me. It's just, he's trying to feed up her. Mm hmm. What does it look like? It's shapeless, but it's, it's dark. Mm hmm. It's shapeless. It looks like, a, it's like gooey. Mm hmm. It's trying to. Like, go through her. Mm -hmm. So I'd like them to go ahead and... I think someone sent it. Okay, so let's find out who sent it. Let's follow that line, that string that connects this energy. Follow it all the way back and see who sent it. I only see like human shape shadow. I cannot see mm -hmm. your face or anything. Okay. Do you have a contract with this being that sent it? He's angry at me. I don't know why. And let's find out why. Let's find out the story. He says I took something from him. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what it is. says I no he thinks I tried to take power from him he think I I wasn't trying to take anything mm -hmm. was it a misunderstanding yeah it's not what he, mm -hmm. he he thought he thought I want to have power over him and control him and other people but no mm hmm Explain it to him. Tell him what was really happening. But he was hurting other people too. And we we lock him down. Mm -hmm. We lock him down because he was hurting other people. Mm -hmm. and he was in charge before. He was like, um, I had a position. Mm -hmm. And I said, oh, he's still... Oh, He's the one I was speaking to the public, to the people, mm -hmm. and he was trying to manipulate the people, but we saw it. Mm -hmm. We saw it. We saw that he's, he was hurting people, and we put him to jail, and he's angry. Mm -hmm. I was, I was not... I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't mean to do that. I mean, I was protecting others. 
What does he say? He said, no. He said, no, I put him down. I took everything from him. I said, I didn't want to take anything. I just wanted to, I just want a good for everybody. I just want a good for everybody. And what he was doing was not okay. Does he understand that? He's still angry. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I really didn't mean to. It's just if you could see that what we were trying to do was good for you too. It was for your good too. We wanted good for you. We really wanted good for you. That's all we wanted. That's, that's it. I don't want to take any power or nothing. I don't want those things. I just want it good for you. If you let us, you would see it. I just want it good. What does he say? Does he accept your apology? Yes. He said he see it now. Okay. So go ahead and break that contract with him. And tell them to take away. Take away this being. So that we can send it to the light. No, it's small. It's very small. All right. So I'd like the angels to continue making it smaller and smaller and wider and wider. And let's cut the contract with a, this being that felt that betrayed you, that you betrayed. And tell me what happens next. He forgives me. He's not a shadow anymore. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you. Let me speak with the higher self. Have we taken care of that? Yes. Very good. She says that she felt that she was constantly attacked around seven or eight years ago. What was that? She was attacked. She was? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It paralyzed her? It, uh, yeah, it was very heavy mm -hmm. strong. Does she have that anymore? No, that's okay. good. How can she protect herself in the future from these attacks? She knows. She knows? Okay. She says when she was a teenager, she had a situation where she woke up and saw a screen appear. She was very scared. And she told it to go away. Now she regrets it. She wants to know what they were trying to show her. Her real self. Mm -hmm. Her real soul, where she's from. Mm. Would they be able to show her that in the future? Or does she need it? She doesn't need it, she knows. Okay, very good. She also says she had a few situations where some energy would take over her left arm and start drawing weird spirals. That's... It, mm -hmm, what was that? That's us. That's you. What were you trying to tell her? Be here. Yeah. Well, it seemed like it was like some sort of a map that you were showing her. It is. She can connect to home. Okay. She can connect to us anytime she wants. How can she do it? She can meditate. Mm -hmm. She can she can use those drawings. Okay, good. She says also that she had a situation at work a few years ago. And it was a quiet night, and she was walking around, and then the ceiling seemed to have opened up, and she saw the sky, and this beam of light came out on her, and it was very strong, and she lost her balance and collapsed. What, what was that? It was, it was at a time where the energies were changing, and we had to adjust her. Okay. 
Do you do that often? Every once in a while, me too. Yes. Okay. She's also been experiencing a lot of synchronicity and repeating numbers. Ones, twos, threes. She sees them everywhere. What is? What do they mean? That's us. We're trying to, trying to communicate with her. Mm -hmm. Trying to show her the right way. So when she sees these numbers, what should she be thinking? She knows what it means. If it's just whatever. It's what she's thinking. Mm -hmm. but if it's right, mm -hmm. we'll confirm it. Mm -hmm. She'll see those numbers. Good. A lot of people seem to see those numbers. Is it just from your planet, or is that the way that you usually communicate? It's it's different for everybody. Okay. It's it's you can make this every every person can make this something on their own. Mm -hmm. It's um, what's what's your thoughts when you see them? Okay. What were you thinking about? Okay. So it's kind of like a confirmation. It could be a confirmation or direction. Mm -hmm. it, it's different for others. It's whatever. It's people should trust their instincts and and go inside mm -hmm. to find the answers. Because some things are different for everybody. This what well, what is for her and that's necessary for somebody else. Very good. Is there anything else that you would like to tell her that? Or another, some other information you'd like to give her that we haven't asked today. Just stay strong. Mm -hmm. I know everything is under control, even when it seems it's not. Mm -hmm. Just go, go inside. When something's bad happening, just go inside. Always go inside. Go within. Go within, yes. Mm -hmm. Go Which within. is what, what she was telling those people, that everything is, the source is within. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. it's, it's there. We, we are the source. Mm -hmm. Very good. So, um, I'd like all of uh, the, the higher self and the archangels to go ahead and flood her with light. From the top of her head to her toes, sealing her aura, making sure that she's totally intact. I'd like for you to scan the room to make sure there's no other energies here trying to take the place of those that left. If you see any of those, please take them, encapsulate them and take them to the right. Welcome back. <laughs> How do you feel? Good. What do you think? It was awesome. <laughs> awesome, huh? Yeah. How long do you feel you were on this journey? How did it feel? I don't know, an hour? <laughs> <laughs> Two hours and 13 minutes. No way. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Incredible, huh? Yes. What did you get from it? A lot. I think I have to process it. <laughs> you have to process it. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. You, you've been doing this many times. You've been back here. Yeah. <laughs> you got a big mission. I guess I do. Do you realize now why you kind of picked your family for growth and yeah. and how... Even throughout the ages, you kept meeting up with the same people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it was a lot of anger there. A lot of anger. We were not supposed to be angry. No. Did you see what 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 that anger anger was causing? Yeah. It was being manipulated. Yeah. People were being manipulated. Yeah, and and we we let ourselves manipulate be yeah. manipulated like that too yeah. because we are angry at the people that don't listen. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was amazing. To be angry. No, no. So, uh, you want to share this? Sure, why not? I'll <laughs> share this. <laughs> I don't think there was too much uh, personal stuff in it. Whatever we have personal, we'll we'll take out. Okay. okay.
but mm -hmm. I thought it was awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Let me disconnect you. Thank All you. right. Well, we just had a really, really amazing session. Amazing. So tell me what you remember. Um, I remember pretty much everything. Uh huh. I just can't believe it's been that long. It, it was like felt, two hours. It, it felt less than an hour. Uh huh. I remember everything. I remember being my happy place, which turned out to be part of my home planet. <laughs> this um, beautiful planet where it was the uh, gardeners of the planet. They said they were the gardeners, the gardeners of the planet, the and it wasn't this planet. It was another, another no. planet where they kind of manifested everything. Yeah, it was. Um, it was a part of reality where they could create a mm -hmm. re reality within. So mm -hmm. they loved the beauty, so they created a beautiful nature place mm -hmm. or a marble castle. So yeah, it's just pleasant. <laughs> So now that you have experienced this yourself, I know you want to become a practitioner. Yes. But now experiencing it after seeing all these videos, what are you? What's different? You can't compare a video <laughs> to. <laughs> you can't compare a video to actually going through the process. Uh -huh. is, is you have to try yourself. It's absolutely amazing, and what you're experiencing through it. It's really hard to describe. You yeah. have to you have to go through it to understand it. So, do you think that this is going to make you a better practitioner now that you've? Oh, absolutely! I'm very happy you did this. It's um, you have you have to go through a session to actually like, to be a practitioner. There's yeah. Although this was not a QHHD. I session. I understand that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I understand. This is not a QHHD that. session. It was, it was not. It was, no. It but was it, amazing, but but just to be in that different state. In a different and, state. And, and, and and speaking with your higher self, what was mm -hmm. that like? I I thought it was gonna be. I mean, I, I didn't even know what to expect. Right. So what what was it like? It, it was just coming through me. It was right. just it was just thoughts and things just coming to my mind, and I was just speaking and I was mm -hmm. just expressing it. Mm -hmm. It was like me speaking, but right. it wasn't. It was wasn't me, but it was me <laughs> because it's it's your higher self. It's yes, just, it's the wiser part of you. So it was speaking to me, and it's mm -hmm. really amazing to actually hear it. It's really amazing. I'm, I'm, I'm sure it tries to talk to us many times. We just don't hear it. You always, you're always mm -hmm. expressing it when, mm -hmm. when you're not paying attention. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, that's how it works. So um, now that you have your voice, what would you like to tell people about this? Do you, um, how, how would you prepare for this? Uh, to prepare for it, be very open. Mm -hmm. Do not um, put expectations. Just let you. Just let it be. Let it come to you and let it be, because you don't know what's coming. <laughs> you have no idea. Yeah. This I is. had no idea what's coming. I, I was like, can I do this? Like, and you did like it was, Like, is this happening in the end? Is this not happening? And it's just like, yeah. one by one, it's just boom. You, you know, one thing that I was I was gonna ask you about, which I was fascinated about were these these giants yeah I was shocked too because how see, big were they um because you said they were like three times yeah it, the it, size. it was it was like if we would put three tall people on top of each other that's how tall they, they would not fit in this room okay they would not fit in this room and what do they look like humans they look like human you know they kind of um but the closest that comes to my mind, like Egyptian pharaohs, it's mm -hmm. just like super like mm -hmm. huge. Have you ever heard of giants before? I've had, but I have, but I haven't seen one. You haven't seen one. <laughs> I haven't seen one. Like have mythology. you heard of giants like in fairy tales? Like in fairy tales, mythology. Yeah. A lot of mythology. Um, some some documentaries when they're saying they found like giant skeletons, but. Mm -hmm. Um, it's it's actually it's funny because before I, when I told you I saw a baby and I told you it's in a weird crib and I told you when mm -hmm. the, uh, sort of like a babysitter or a yes. came and picked it up. Yes. I kept seeing a huge baby and a little tiny nanny. I thought it was a child nanny. I thought well, she was a child or something because this baby was just huge. And I remember you told me don't leave anything out. Right. But it's just things were happening so I'm just like, wait. It's just giant. I really thought it was a child holding it. That's why I thought it was a little child holding a child. The baby was just like interesting, like this. 
But you had never heard of people that are giants? No. No, besides mythology. Good, no. good. Well, you know, that's that's something that that I wanted to express because some people who watch these videos will say, well, that she was just, she read about this somewhere and she was making it up. No, there's, <laughs> there's uh, <laughs> no way I made this up because I, I, I really, I just saw it and I was shocked. I don't know if the show's in the video, but I was shocked. Because mm -hmm. when I saw this scene and I was focusing on the people mm -hmm. standing, it was like a good throne area, and I, I, at some point I thought it was like statues. Yeah. And then I was like, oh my god, they're huge! <laughs> and this is a surprise face. I didn't make the no. Could Excellent. Not, Excellent. Could not ever make this up. Good. Well. You can do a little bit of research now about that. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. So we are here in Elizabeth, New Jersey, which mm -hmm. is a hop away from New York, New York City mm -hmm. and Newark, New Jersey. And uh, I do do sessions. Uh, I'm based out of Miami. So if you want a session with me in Miami, you can look me up, albawyman.com. And I also travel all over the place uh, in order for you to find out where I'm going to next. You can either go to my website or to find out really fast sign up for my newsletter and if you're one of the first ones to sign up you'll get a session because they do book really quickly and uh, do you think it was easy to sign up for for this you waited a long time you waited a long time but because you're out of town <laughs> <laughs> so we have to come here. Uh, no it's easy you go online you just book it and then you get the confirmation Super excellent easy. so I hope to see you sometime soon all right so Bye. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you so much. It was amazing.